guys, it's Dylan again, and you're coming in smack in the middle of the action. Gordon, our captain, is battling with Gary from Team High Tech, and man, the sparks have been flying. Gary turned out to be even tougher than we thought, but the upgraded bumpers Ollie put on our battle blades really helped. Our other teammate Peter rocked in the first match and knocked out Paul, so if Kaylee and I can just keep up, Team Overdrive could go all the way. Only two minutes into this finals round battle, and already both sides have taken some big hits. But so far, Gordon of Team Overdrive seems to have gotten the worst of it. Come on, Gordon, you can do it! Gordon! Gordon! Gordon's gonna need a whole new approach if he wants to beat Gary's Poseidon Blade. You heard the man. You're getting beat. So what do you plan to do about it? <sighs> Nothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again! Gordon's still trying to take Gary on blade to blade, but he hasn't even made a dent! That Poseidon blade is a tough machine. Yeah, but you know Gordon's all pro, and he's gonna figure out a way to beat him. And the bumpers and armor all he gave him will protect him until he does. He better figure it out soon. Those bumpers won't last forever. Even hardened alloy steel has a breaking point if you keep on hitting it. Ah, these hills just gave me an idea for a different attack. Hmm. Looking for an escape route out of here, Gordon? Ah! Gordon's gone airborne! Huh? Huh? Ah! Ah! Got him. That was luck. He could have easily missed completely with that. Whoa! Gordon just dive bombed Gary with an aerial assault. Unreal! All that steel flying through the air and hitting the target floats like a bumblebee and stings like a bumblebee too. I just hope he keeps doing it. I want more. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time! There he goes, folks! Gordon's gone airborne again! Uh-oh! Have a nice flight! See you next fall! Wait a sec! It was a fake-out! Now he's got Gary broadside! It does seem like all of a sudden he totally changed his style. Maybe he needed to wait for Gary to get tuckered out so he could surprise him with it. That's not the reason. Huh? Gary's got to snap out of it and attack more. Why is he letting Gordon do this? <sighs> that won't help. Gordon's already won this match in every way but the official one. How? By getting Gary to show his hand, just like any good blader would. Now, Gary's shown Gordon all his moves and revealed all of his tactics. Gordon knows that the Poseidon Blade is strongest when it attacks head-on. He tried going blade to blade with it, but that wasn't working for him. You saw what happened next. He began to find ways to get around Gary's blade. From now on, you can be sure, he'll attack from the side. So what's the big deal with that? Gary can still defend those attacks by turning to the side himself. Too late for half-steps like that. It's clear, this fight is as good as over. <clears throat> Even if his blade could turn fast enough, Gary would still be a step behind Gordon, because Gordon's found a way to use the terrain as part of his attack. Coming off the hills and striking from the air? Come on, there's no defense against that. What difference does it make which way Gary turns? Gordon's thinking in three dimensions, and the rest of us are still working with only two. What are you doing? You got a stomachache or something? It's two wins to zero. 
I'm practicing moves for my big celebration dance. What do you think? Yeah. I'm afraid Gary's gonna need a little help with this one, Vito. Yes, sir? Time to put your little plan into action. <laughs> <laughs> more hits like that and I'm finished. I'm gonna have to go with my trademark trait sooner than I wanted to. I'll let him think about it for a second, but I already know what he's gonna do. He'll run out of time if he doesn't use his cold wave strike now. Huh? Here we go, fans. That sound from Gary's battle blade can only mean one thing. Finally, he's gonna attack. His trademark trait will turn it around. Uh, he might as well skip it. It isn't gonna save him from defeat. Why? Grab a sweater. There's a chill settling over the arena as Gary's cold wave strike cranks up. Cold wave strike, huh? Wow. And look at those hills he's parked next to. Hmm. You're making it too easy. <laughs> Roaring tiger wave. Engage. It's Gordon's Roaring Tiger Wave versus Gary's Cold Wave Strike, and something's gotta give! Whoa, this is it! Go Team Overdrive! Knock that guy out! You can do this, Gordon! started his classic maneuver, running circles around his opponent, getting himself into position in preparation for the final strike! And they're off! Which of these two powerful trademark trade attacks will win? I'm losing control! Starting to spin sideways. What just happened? Gordon took it broadside! He's headed for the edge! <laughs> According to the rules of the game, Gary of Team High Tech is hereby pronounced the winner by knockout. That's why you don't count your chickens before they hatch. Well, you can't count them after either. Those little guys are fast, Johnny. Very strange. Very strange indeed. <gasps> the crowd is stunned. What a shocker. I knew he'd lose. Gordon's always too cool and calm. Huh? While Gary is always full of vim and vigor. Because of him, the teams are tied one-to-one. -one. Isn't it lots more fun this way? I think there's something fishy about that match. Fishy like it smells bad? Yeah, it stinks. Gordon was in control, and then suddenly he lost it and started swerving back and forth. Maybe his arms got tired. But he was going in a straight line. Then he swerved to the left, and then he swerved right. Something must have hit his blade. So what do you want to do, Randy? Start a police investigation? Oh, yeah. Good idea. Let's call him. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? The next match will begin in ten minutes. Drivers will be selected in five minutes. Wait! I want to officially protest my victory. What? what? The winner cannot protest. That's only for the loser. Unless you have some proof, you'll have to accept your victory. <laughs> Dad, I have to ask you something. What is it, Brittany? Was that a legitimate win? Well, of course it was. Where in the world would you get the idea that it wasn't? Well, Gordon's last run was weird. Weird? It looked like something hit his blade right at the last moment. That would be illegal. The rules are very strict about that kind of interference. Do you have any proof? No, 
Brittany, surely you know how seriously I take these rules. In fact, I consider myself the guardian of our sport. The traditions of battle blading go back more than a hundred years. And in all that time, there has never even been a whisper of any kind of cheating. You're right. I'm sorry I brought it up. It's all right, Brittany. Don't worry about it. But if you ever hear of anyone tampering with a match like that, and I don't care who, tell me. And I promise you I will take care of it. Thanks. The drivers for the third match have been selected, and I will announce them now. Driving for Team High Tech will be their captain, Brittany. Team Overdrive will be represented by Dylan. Drivers, report to Center Grid. I'm up. I gotta get going. Yes. Have fun and do your best. Come back up here after the match and we can celebrate your victory together. Thank you, Father. I'll do that. She's a pretty tough cookie, my girl. But she still believes whatever Daddy tells her. Well, guys, I'm up. Wish me luck against Brittany. Her again? Now, don't forget, stick with attacks from the front and let those bumpers protect you. Got it. Good luck, Dylan. Hey, Dylan! Wait up a sec. I want to talk to you. Right now? What is it? I've got an idea. Why don't I take this one? Huh? You heard the referee. I was selected for this match. Yeah, but... You're gonna be going up against Brittany just like before. Yeah, so what? I'm gonna beat her this time. I'm sure you can. Huh? It's just, well, it was hard to convince Ollie that you didn't let her win before. And if you lost to her again... Uh, well... I know what you did. You lost your match on purpose. Huh? Why would you do that? <sighs> You're a traitor. She's your friend, isn't she? Ollie, she's, uh... Dylan, I thought you had more integrity than that! I, uh... <sighs> Haley's right. If Brittany beats me, Ollie would never trust me again. Come on, move it, crew! <laughs> We've only got two minutes left to get this wreck off the track! Trying. Gordon! <laughs> What's the deal with you letting me win? Hmm. That's ridiculous. I would never do that. Then why'd you turn sideways at the end? Something hit my battle blade. Huh? I didn't see anything, but right at the last second, something struck the right side wheels and knocked me out of control. I couldn't recover in time for the impact. <laughs> Either way, you shouldn't feel bad about it. You're a good driver, so congratulations. I don't want that. Uh huh? Gordon, next time I see you, we'll have a fair fight. And I'm gonna beat you in that one, too. Hmm. Drivers report! We are ready to get the match underway! First up, the captain of defending champion Team High Tech, it's Brittany! 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 And now, representing the Challenger Team Overdrive, it's... Wait a minute, that's not Dylan. Am I in the right stadium? Huh? Dylan sure looks a lot different. I must have gotten a bug in my eye or something. A bug in your brain, maybe, but not in your eye. That's Haley. What? Hmm? This is fantastic! And just like that, our tournament has turned into an episode of Real Battle Blade Beauties! Yeah! Huber, get it together. Huh? Sit down. This isn't a reality show. It's a hard-hitting sporting event. Uh, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Hubert, let's have a little of your exciting color commentary. Hubert, hey, are you all right? <laughs> I'm so happy you asked. My favorite color is pink and my second favorite is purple. Uh, okay. Now, let's go down to center grid. Referee, we'd like to substitute drivers. Here's the request. Hmm. Very well. Your request is granted. Team Overdrive requests a substitution. Instead of Dylan, Haley has been cleared to drive in the third match. And there you have it, folks. The official explanation from our referee, Toshi. We're not sure why Team Overdrive has requested this last second change, but as you heard, it's been approved. And so now it will be Brittany and Haley who will face off.
And in fact, their battle blades are already starting their journey from the tunnel deep below us here in the stadium. Soon now, the elevators will reach the grid, and we'll get a close-up view of these two mechanized monsters. That first look is always one of the most exciting moments in a battle blade contest. Don't you agree, Hubert? I sure do, Johnny. When those battle blades rise out of the floor, it reminds me of the time I went to this sushi restaurant with my uncle. And all the sushi was going around the room on a little conveyor belt. You never knew what would come around the bend next. Sometimes it was something good, and sometimes it was like octopus legs or something. Uh, I don't see the point. What does that have to do with battle blades? Well, the point is, I sure don't like those octopus legs. They're super creepy, Johnny. It's like when you walk into a spider web and you get that feeling. Great story, Hubert. But we're out of time, because the battle blades have reached the grid. First up, the fabulous Phoenix Blade, recently back on the circuit after being mysteriously missing for over 10 years. And here's Brittany's Warship Blade. Five tons of turbo-powered steel loaded with enough high-tech weaponry to sink a, um, uh, the warship. Haley and the Phoenix Blade showed what they could do in her round one battle with Gary. And we all remember Brittany serving Dylan a big slice of humble pie. Had that pie? Didn't like it, Johnny. So grab a bug juice and popcorn, ladies and gentle beetles, because it's the Phoenix Blade versus the Warship Blade. Haley versus Brittany. And the fireworks start in just a moment. Oh, yeah! Good luck, Brittany. But I have to tell you that I think Dylan let you win last time. And I'm not gonna go down that easy. Wow! Do you really think you're good enough to beat me? I wouldn't be out here in the first place if I didn't think I could. Good luck with that. I think you'll need it. This is it! It's so exciting! Yep! We're in for a great showdown between the captain and the up-and-coming young rookie. Ah, oh, that's not what I meant. Huh? What is it, then? They're wearing my favorite colors. No. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to look great standing next to them during the exclusive after-battle interview. Oh, green is a great color. It goes with everything. <laughs> Too easy. Brittany's going to show everyone that Haley belongs back on the farm. Hmm. Maybe. Huh? What's your problem? You got the win, even if Gordon did let you have it. You talk too much. Gary, what did happen out there? Hmm. Gordon told me his blade got knocked out of control. He thinks something hit it from underneath when he was on that last run. Nine! You can do it! Whoa! It's a head-on clash right off the bat! These two drivers don't waste any time before going blade to blade with each other! I said, I'm not going down that easy. Yeah? We'll see about that. And they're locked up again! Brittany seems to be testing the strength of the Phoenix Blade, looking for a weakness! Whoa! Haley rocks Brittany backwards! She's not backing down an inch here! And they break loose! So far, neither driver's been able to gain the advantage, Hubert. It's even Steven out there! Well, I don't see this Steven guy, but he better watch out or he's gonna get run over! Haley's doing great, and the Phoenix Blade is really tough. She's gonna have to go on the attack soon. She will, and there's nothing to worry about. Haley's got Brittany's tactics totally figured. That may be, but I can guarantee Brittany's about to try a whole new tactic. <gasps> so far, so good. I'm getting used to the way she attacks. And if she keeps doing it that way, I'll find an opening. She's better than I expected. And the Phoenix Blade is super strong. I'm not getting anywhere going blade to blade with her. I'm just gonna have to approach her from a different angle. Haley in and now 
she's getting the angle on her. Oh, no, you don't. Can Haley get turned around in time to avoid the broadside hit? Turn, Haley! She's turning too slowly. <laughs> she did it! She got around before the strike! Ha! She fell for it. <laughs> Jump and jitterbug! It was a fake out! Brittany faked Haley into turning the wrong way, and then she reversed her slide! Oh no! Idea. What do you mean? Too much spin. If she locks up the brakes now, the centrifugal force will flip her battle blade right over. End of match. <laughs> this looks like the end, folks. She's headed for the edge. Sayonara. <laughs> Little bit of power. Not too much. Easy does it. Gotta lay off the brakes. <laughs> Not a straight note. <laughs> Huh? Unreal! Haley was in a flat spin at over a hundred miles an hour and she pulled it out! Ring a ding ding! That girl could fly a moth through a tornado! That's some pretty impressive driving, I have to admit. From what I've seen of Britney's temper, though, she's not gonna be real happy with the way this is going down. Yeah! Go team! That's the way, Haley! Crusher Crocker style! That was too close for comfort. If these hills and rocks weren't here, I would have gone right over the edge. And it would have been game over. She's tricky. I'm gonna have to be on guard. She escaped my rotation attack. You won't be so lucky this time, because I got a lot more where that came from. Huh. Folks, we are heading for some shredding now!